What's up, Cancers, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful Cancers, my fellow water elements out there are doing well. So, Cancer, this is going to be just a general, you guys, okay? I've already pulled some messages here to kind of get the overall energy, but before we get started, I want to pull some angel messages, you guys, okay? So, if anything resonates with you, Cancer, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, also comment. Let Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal reading, you guys, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, so let's get an angel number for my cancer spirit. What angel message do you have for my cancer today? All right, cancer, we have the number 23, okay? You are adventurous. You have a zest for life, and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement, and you need both in your life to truly feel alive. For you, life is like an adventure to be lived to the fullest, okay? So you are very adventurous. You have a zest for life, but you need excitement. You need a fun. You need a little bit of passion. You need a little bit of everything, you know, to make your life feel whole or feel complete, okay? All right, so you can be seeing the numbers 23, 222, or 333. Let's get one more angel number, then we're going to pull up the moonology before we get into this reading, guys, okay? We also have the number 31, okay? Cancer, you are very disciplined at this time, okay? Your approach to life is, is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination, okay? So the way that you approach life, the way that you approach situations, you think about it, you're very practical, you're very logical, but you also do it, you know, you use your imagination, like you try to maybe think outside of the box here, okay? It says your mind is stirring with creative ideas and you have the organizational skills to manifest them into life, okay? So because you're organized, because you're practical, you have, okay, the ability to manifest anything that you want in your life, okay? So you can be seeing the numbers 23 or the numbers 31, okay? You are disciplined and you are adventurous. All right, so let's get into some moonology. Messages for my cancer. So let's see what messages here has for you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. Messages for cancer. Okay, we have confidence is your key to your success, okay, with this new moon in Leo. So I feel like, excuse me, guys, because you're very adventurous, because, because you're very disciplined, Ooh, excuse me, a lot of you guys could be feeling very confident in yourself. And because you're confident, this is what's going to usher in that success. This is what's going to help you be very successful because you're confident in yourself, okay? All right, one more message for my cancers. All right, messages for my cancer spirit. Then we have balanced spirituality and practicality, okay, with this full moon energy in Pisces. So there are some things, Cancer, you know, maybe you look at in a spiritual way, but Spirit is saying, you know, maybe not always look at things in a spiritual way, like balance being spiritual and balance being practical, okay? Make sure that those two scales are balanced. Make sure everything is not thought of in a spiritual way and make sure everything is not thought of in a practical way. It's like you have balance. You partially think about it spiritually and then you partially put some practicality into it as well, okay? All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into this energy, okay? So the cards that I pulled here from the Truth Oracle is I lost myself for a little while, okay? So, Karen, so there could be someone in your energy, maybe when you were dealing with this person, this could have been in the past or this could be recently, okay? It was like maybe you put your all or you put all your energy, all your effort, all your time into this person. It was like because you gave so much and you didn't get that back in return. It's like you kind of like lost yourself within this person. Y'all know how sometimes you can give, give, give to someone and it's like you lose yourself. Like you, you lose your sense of self. You know what I'm saying? Because you're busy giving your whole self to someone else, okay? And this could be someone, Cancer, that either you can't stop thinking about or this person has been very heavily or you've been very heavily on this person's mind, okay? And someone here, Cancer, wants you to know, okay, that they love you. So let's pull some more from this Truth Oracle and we're going to see what happened between you and someone here, okay? So you could have lost yourself dealing with someone, or someone here is saying they lost themselves maybe dealing with you or another situation. But this is someone who cannot think about, who cannot stop thinking about you. 
So we have, I don't react when people mention you, okay? So Karen, so someone could be asking this person that you're dealing with, maybe someone from your past, like, you know, when last time you talked to Karen, so when last time you seen Karen, so, and they just don't have no reaction, you know what I'm saying? They try to act all nonchalant, or they try to act like they don't care, but the whole time, there's somebody who can't stop thinking about you, so they wearing a mask, they out here pretending, okay? But when people mention you, they try to act like they ain't really messed up about you, okay? So this is someone, I feel like they try to be nonchalant, or they really try to hide their true feelings and emotions. All right, let's just put my cancers here. Then we have, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson, okay? So some of you guys, you can be on a spiritual journey with someone because remember, you're supposed to balance spirituality and practicality, okay? So this person that you can be dealing with, even though you might have lost yourself for a little while dealing with this person, you are grateful for whatever spiritual lessons that you learned dealing with this person, okay? So some of you could be dealing with your twin flame, some type of divine counterpart, soulmate, higher level connection, someone. But this is someone that you learned some spiritual lessons from, okay? All right, let's get a couple more messages here. Messages for my cancer. So then we have sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, okay? So this is here twice, cancer. Whoever this is, some of you could be dealing with a, a Scorpio. Because I want to say these same two cards came out in Scorpio read, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, and it's like this person either they can't stop thinking about you. They laying at night, laying awake at night thinking about you. It reminds me of like that nine of swords energy. You know, that person up in their bed with their hands over their head. It's like, why I can't get cancer off my mind, okay? So even though this person try not to react when people mention you or ask about you, you know what I'm saying? They can't get you off their dog on mind right here. All right, let's pull from this love island right quick. Let's do a few more messages, and then we're going to see what signs you can be dealing with cancer, okay? All right, messages for my cancer. Tell us a little bit more about this situation for my cancers. Messages for my cancer spirit. Give us one, give us a couple more messages here. I love you, Cancer. And if anything is resonating for you guys, please don't forget to like this video, okay? All right, messages for my cancer spirit. Tell us more about this situation for cancer. All right, Cancer, we have kisses, okay? This talks about unconditional loving, giving, and receiving affection, okay? So I feel, I feel like, Cancer, someone here wants to come in and give you unconditional love, okay? This talks about giving you love without conditions. So in the past, Cancer, you could have could have been the type that it was like maybe you were used to receiving love, but the love that you always received, it was with conditions, okay? It's like you had to do this in order for someone to show you love and affection, or you always had to do something in order to get it back, okay? Now, this talks about someone that wants to come in and love you without those conditions, okay? You don't have to do shit for this person to still love you, okay? You don't have to buy them nothing. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. Like, they're going to love you regardless, okay? This is someone that wants to give you reciprocity. They want to give and receive affection, okay? And this could be someone, Cancer, that you could be falling in love with, okay? We also have photographs. Someone here is looking at your pictures, okay? They're missing you. They're very nostalgic at this time, and they want to come in and make new memories. So when it comes to this person, Cancer, you may not have the best memories of this person, okay? This person, I feel like, is staying awake late at night looking at your pictures, missing you, okay? This person is very nostalgic, but this person wants to come in and make some new memories with you, okay? They don't want you to continue to think about those old memories that you have with them, okay? So maybe those old memories that you have, they're not good memories, okay? So this person wants to come in and make some new memories with you. This could also be someone that you and this person are mirroring each other. What did I say earlier, okay, when this spiritual lesson? You can be on a twin flame journey here with some body here at cancer and it's like you and this person are mirroring each other okay if you up at night this person up at night if you're thinking about them they thinking about you okay if people asking them about you cancer you ain't you know what i'm saying you don't react it's the same thing whatever you're doing whatever's going on in your life it's like you and this person is mirroring each other and i feel like you don't even know that you're mirroring each other at this time okay both of you guys could be reflecting on your old, old wounds, okay? So some, both of you guys could be reflecting back on your past. You're thinking about past relationships that you had, okay? How the good things that happened, the bad things that happened. But I feel like with these old wounds, it's like you're, feel, you're thinking about the past relationships and how you were hurt in those relationships because we have unconditional love. In the past, cancer, when you dealt with people, it was like you had to deal with people or you gave love that came with conditions. You were in relationships that 
always came with conditions. You dealt with people that always came with conditions. It's like now you could be reflecting on those wounds, reflecting on all those times that you were just trying to give your love to people. But it was like it was some type of condition, some type of damn agreement or something that you had to go through in order to get that love back in return. Okay. All right, Cancer. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. What signs can my Cancers be dealing with? Cancer, we have Aries, we have Sag, we have Taurus, and we also have Cancer again, you guys. Okay, so if I didn't call out your sign, that does not mean this is not your story. All right, Cancer, I love you, and until next time, stay blessed.